What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you one of the best blitzes in Madden 19 to really bring some crazy pressure on your opponents Now if this is your first time checking out one of my videos and you want to stay up to date on the best Madden 19 tips and gameplay all year long Consider hitting the subscribe button below and hitting the bell icon so that you join the notification squad So the blitz I'm gonna show you today. Uh, it's not something that's brand new uh, this was kind of a good blitz last year towards the end of the year. A lot of people ran this blitz and it still works pretty good again this year. A lot of people are running it. Uh, I didn't come up with this blitz. This is something that's kind of common you might see online. I'm pretty sure some other people have posted about it. But for those that don't know, I want to share it with you guys now. And it is out of the 4-6 excuse me, is out of the four six normal formation. You can find this in the Jags defensive playbook. And you can also find this in the, I believe the Bengals defensive playbook has it as well and the 4-6 playbook should have it so it's going to be the fire zone 3 and you're going to want to flip it at the play call screen uh, because this blitz just works better flipped now I think uh, you know different people set this up different ways I'm just going to show the way that I think it works best for me personally uh, somebody else might have a better setup for it but this is just how I run it uh, and what you want to do when you run this is you first want to base align the defense, which is wire triangle, and then right on the left stick. It's going to help, you know, bring all these guys in. Then I like to spread the defensive line, LB or L1, and up on the left stick. That spreads the line. Then you want to take the blitzing guy. Uh, I like to just slide him over just a couple steps. I just feel like he loops around better when I do that. Now that's just a very basic beginner setup. If you're not, you know, good at making a lot of adjustments, uh, very simple base align, spread D line, slide that linebacker over a little bit, and then what's going to happen here is he is going to loop around like so and get in there pretty fast. We have Telvin Smith there, who is a pretty fast linebacker. You definitely want a guy that is pretty fast here. If he has good pursuit, that helps a little bit as well, I believe. Um, but yeah, just very simple three steps: base align, spread D line, and slide that guy over. He's going to loop in pretty fast. We have the flats open there, of course. You're not going to have everything wide open against the blitz. If you want to cover the flats, an extra step would be shading your defense underneath, which is wire triangle down on the right stick. So then if you do that, you're covering the quick flats. I mean, there's always going to be something open when you're blitzing. That's just the nature of it. You can't cover everything and blitz at the same time. There he kind of got picked up, but we got somebody else to come free. This should come in uh, the majority of the time. Again, we're going to... Uh, I'm just going to use the, uh, the offense here. I'm not going to be using the guy on defense. So you see he's going to loop around like so. If I try to throw it to the flats this time, we got the guy in the flats because we shaded underneath. So it's all about making those adjustments with the blitz. You're not going to be able to cover everything, but your goal is to get into the backfield quick to try to take away you know, their first read. And if you can take away their first read, they're not going to have time to make a second read. So even though there's areas on the field open, you know, you can't see all the areas of the field at one time. You're looking in one direction. If that direction is covered... And you move on to your next read, it might be open, but you're getting hit at that point. So that's kind of the goal with this. Now, an extra step you can do uh, to get a little bit more coverage, you can take this defensive end over here on the right. You can put him in a spy by pressing A or X and left on the right stick. That'll put him in an, into a spy, give you a little bit of uh, extra coverage on the field. The blitz still should come in as long as no one is blocking. There that time the, uh, the guy slid over and picked him up, so we'll go ahead and dump it down. Sometimes they will slide over and pick them up. No blitz is foolproof in Madden anymore. That's just kind of how it is. But this should still come in the majority of the time. Again, we're going to spy uh, that defensive end there. And, uh, you know, this time he got in there. So sometimes a guy might slide over and pick him up. But usually, even with just rushing those four guys, if there's no one blocking, you can get him in. Now, uh, what if they do block a running back? Now, if they block a running back, he should pick this up the majority of the time. So see here, we blocked the running back. He still got in that time. But just note, if you do block a running back, he should pick it up a good bit of the time. He won't pick it up every time. That, that's one reason why this blitz is good. A blocked back on the opposite side will not pick it up every single time. As you can see, on the opposite side, we're still getting in. Now, if we block the running back on the other side, he should do a better job at picking this up. But, you know, just for example, you know, if you're playing a guy and he's in a formation that has the running back on the, on the right side of the field, then you know that you can probably get this in pretty much every time. Now, see, if we block the running back to the left, Kind of picked him up, but then eventually the block shed got there. 4-6 uh, normal is a formation where the block shed does seem to work a little bit better, so that kind of helps us too. So, an extra thing you can do, if, if you want to bring crazy pressure, you're going to have less coverage, you can also blitz this guy here on the right. It's in this purple zone. 
this will ensure that if they even if they block somebody you're going to get in every time no matter what so usually if, if they're blocking on the right you can still get in regardless but with this you're going to pretty much guarantee that you still get in now again you you're, you're leaving more coverage open on the field but you, if you're blitzing six people i mean that's that's just a cat and mouse game if you blitz six you know yes there's a lot of stuff open on the field but you can still get home uh pretty easily you know, if you can cover their first read, if you're sitting here on this user defender and you're, you're jumping on the first read and that's not there, you're going to hit them. Doesn't matter if, if there's tons of other open areas on the field, uh, you're going to hit them. Now, if they don't block anybody and you bring six, well, you're going to get two guys free. So there's different ways you can play around with this. Uh, for me, I think the best setup is base align, spread, D line, slide this guy over, and then put this guy, excuse me, put this guy in a spy. So you're only rushing four. If they block a running back, it should pick it up. That's fine. You still have seven guys in coverage. If they don't block, uh, you should still get a guy in free. I think that is the best overall setup. That time the guy got uh, picked up, but we got the block shed. I think that's the best overall setup because, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's really low risk, but potentially high reward. If they don't block anybody, you're going to get the guy in free. If they do block somebody, well, you kind of still won that uh, battle because they have one less guy that can go out for a pass, uh, but you're still, you know, able to get that pressure shooting in like that. So I think that's the best setup. You can blitz six if you want to guarantee somebody in free, but just know you're going to be sacrificing some coverage. So that is one of the best blitzes in the game out of the 4-6 normal formation. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.